We've been doing a lot of videos from here in the garage ever since we got the mini split. And I think it's about time we head back out on the water and see if we can link up with a couple dragons. First, I have something epic that I want to show you. This is insane. This blew my mind when I saw this, and I can't wait to show it to you. Check this out. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Let me tell you a little bit about what I have in store for us today. Today, we're actually going fishing. We've been doing a lot of videos from here in the garage ever since we got the mini split. I think it's about time we head back out on the water and see if we can link up with a couple dragons. We're gonna do a couple different things on this mission. I'm gonna tell you about those things here in just a second, but first I have something epic that I wanna show you. This is insane. This blew my mind when I saw this and I can't wait to show it to you. Check this out. Look at this, dudes. Look at this. Okay, so what this is, what is this? What is this? First of all, it's a painting. It's an airbrushed painting of me holding a fish, but it's very special. So I had a friend of the channel reach out. His name is Sean. He's been riding with us for a long time here on the channel. He's actually sent me some gifts before. He sent me my 10 pound mace that I use to work out here in the garage all the time. Anyway, Sean's a really cool dude, very nice, kind hearted, and has always wanted to do something special for us over here on the channel. And he did this. Let me explain. So Sean happens to be a prison guard. And it just so happens that one of the inmates where he works is an insanely talented airbrush artist. Look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see the detail in this, but it's incredible. This thing is, it, first of all, it really looks like me. A lot of times when you see like a painting or a drawing of somebody, it doesn't really look like them. It kind of looks like them, especially when you see like a tattoo of somebody's face. Man, you gotta really nail it. Otherwise, it just looks weird. He nailed it. Nailed the heater hat. I'll try to get some up close shots so you guys can see some of the detail in here. But let me just point out a couple things. First of all, the only thing that isn't airbrushed on this painting is the glitter that you see down here on the gunnel of Junebug. And you probably can't notice on the camera that there's fishing line, 3D real fishing line on the canvas going straight to this flush 5.2. Look at the detail on the flush. Look at that. That's incredible. Also, look down right here, it says Six Cents Fishing Products. You got the carpet decals. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but that's a freaking heater series rod right there. And what's this say? Oh, June bug. He also nailed the Feduta. I mean, this is so incredible. I'm so happy, so stoked, so grateful to receive this. This is an incredible gift. Look at this painting, man. Shout outs to Sean. Thank you, brother. Also, massive shout out and thank you to the gentleman that painted this incredible piece of artwork. I will keep it and cherish it forever. We're gonna have to find a place for this in the background here in the videos, either here in the garage or in the office. But dude, extremely humbled by this. Blew me away when I opened the package. He's like, hey man, I have something special I wanna send you. When I opened this, I was flabbergasted. And you can see why. You guys can see why. Check out the piece of artwork, man. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you to Sean and the very talented artist behind this piece of art. Couldn't be more grateful, man. That's insane. That's incredible. Mind blowing. This blew me away. Let that hang out back there by the subscriber board. Speaking of the subscriber board, help us fill in that bar. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Couple things we're gonna get into in today's video. We're gonna head out onto the water. We're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna throw little baits and we're gonna throw big baits. We're gonna set out and see if we can get our first fish ever on the new heater series spinning rod. Don't know if you guys were aware, but we recently released a seven foot medium power fast action heater series spinning rod for all your finesse giblets, single swimmers, drop shots, Ned rigs, wacky rigs, etc. We got the spinning heater, the swizzle stick. You guys check it out on sixcentsfishing.com. All the other heater series rods are now back in stock as well. So if you are waiting for a heater series restock, good to go. We're gonna put this thing to the test, see if we can get our first fish on it in this video. Also, we're gonna throw this as well. First up, you might notice that I have the Daiwa mounted onto this rod. 
We're gonna put the Daiwa to work in this video. Still testing this reel. There's a, I've got some more coming on the Daiwa situation in the future. Stick around, sub to the channel. We'll talk more about the Daiwa. You guys know I'm a Shimano guy, but the Daiwa you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about, been asking me for an update. I have that coming for you soon. I just wanna get a little bit more time under my belt and make sure however I feel about it is actually how I feel about it. But we're using the Daiwa to throw the trace today and we're doing it on a different rod. I got the 7.5 heavy fast heater series it's actually a heater prototype we're going to talk more about that once we get out there on the water but we're going to try to see how the 7.5 heater does with the trace multi-jointed swim baits almost two ounces so we're going to throw that on the daiwa tatula ct and the 7.5 heater heavy fast and we're going to go on a mission to see if we can put the first one in the boat with the new swizzle stick heater series spinning rod and i think that about covers everything we need to talk about here in the garage let's rip off let's head out on june bug drop the trolling motor in the water see if we can uh, see if we can catch some fish let's go fishing <laughs> Got him. First fish on the new spinning heater. He hit the trace and missed it. I threw back in there with a single swimmer. It's a little guad. Oh, spitting up shad. Okay, now we know what they're eating. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's look at that fish. Got him with a little 2.7 divine. Little Guadaloopster. Actually, he's feeding on bluegill. That's a little bluegill right there. There's what he's eating. There's what he looks like. First fish on the morning. Second dock. Nothing major, but hey. First fish on the home pond in a while and first fish ever on the new spinning heater. Yeah, he hit the uh, trace twice, twice, twice he hit it. And uh, didn't get a hook in him. So I was like, eh, let me throw back up in there with the, the swizzle stick. See if we can get one in him. Those guas are crazy. I'm trying to eat that trace. All right. Some swirling on it or something. Something over there. Just keep hitting them with the one-two punch if they miss this. Follow up with the swizzle. We know they're eating little bluegill though. I'm getting better at casting these dumb things. There we go. Dude, he hit it so fast. That bait hit the water, and this fish came up and blasted it. Awesome. The little guad on the single swimmer. He freaking cracked it, dude. I barely had a chance to get it moving. I was just blind casting, flipping around with this little thing and one ate it. I wasn't ready. Dude, it's so hot. It's so hot already. I'm like 113 degrees every day. <laughs> like 7 in the morning. Freaking steamer out here. Well, there's a lot of fish right here. I don't know what they are, but there's a ton of them. 30 feet there up under this dock right here. Oh, 
Oh, that's great, dude. That's just great right there, dude. Thing bong, swim bait's gone. Have a look around here see what we can see normally this is a decent little offshore drop shot region little area if i could keep my freaking chilling motor handle in the boat the boat's freaking dirty from valley lake oh yeah there's some fish a little wad of them oh, oh go back go back bust this giblet out see if they want the jibs it's throwing the cricket calling it the giblet it's actually the cricket. This is the giblet right here. This is the legendary jib. They're moving fast, man. Keep losing them. Just got freaking blasted. Whatever it was came out of nowhere. I don't see anything on the scope. Oh, just got hit again. That's the drawing power of these freaking... They stole my tail. The drawing power of these freaking swim baits, dude. They see them from a long way off. There's something there. He just stole my tail off my freaking swim bait. It's a bad thing about the Kytex, man. They're not as durable as the Divines. Dirty yog moth stole my tail. Hopefully he's still down there. <sighs> it's just so tough right now, man. It's just so tough out here right now. <laughs> I feel like it's worth just throwing a big bait and just trying to go for one one good bite. From everyone that I've talked to, it's just been tough lately, dudes. It took nine pounds to win the uh, little Tuesday nighter that they have out here. And uh, this lake isn't known for putting out the biggest bags, but definitely normally putting out a little bit more than nine on the winning bag. That tells you, that tells me a lot right there. I'm throwing a little single swimmer and dragging a giblet around and not getting bit. Watching them stare at it on the scope. I don't know, I don't know, man, but these fish are definitely not turned on. Two wads all morning on a dang giblet cricket. That's tough, dude. That's tough. Hard out here open. Just got a text from David Lucas, the roast god. Homie's doing big things, man. Big things. Kill Tony, the mothership, freaking. Nationwide tours, selling out shows. Love to see it, man. Shout out to David Lucas. If you guys want to see David back on the channel, drop me a comment. Can't wait to get that dude back on the boat, man. He's all about some fishing. He's serious. He's serious about it, dudes. Plopper doesn't want to plop on me, dude. Oh, just had one blow up on it. Dang. First hit on the plopper. He just came up and looped it blorped it dude like a beach ball and a killer whale he just came up and nosed it but that was a that was one right there dude
I wonder if they'll hit the kitty cat. Oh, there we go, on the catwalk. Just a little guy. It's a large mouth though. No, it isn't, it's a guad. Thought it was a largey for a second. That color on him, should have known. Another freaking guad. <laughs> Cannot get on the largies to save my life today. They will not hit anything. These guads are crazy though, so can usually still pull one or two of these even if the ow even if the day's tough just hook my finger another little guad later dude yeet they're all fun though i guess barely felt that one well, i need the fish that'll eat that fish you know she got ruby red lip blonde hair blue bad i'm about to get my heart goodbye cannot get any of those fish on the bottom touch this thing another guad on the squim jig i wasn't even sure if he was still on there fish number four we having a grind for him out here today though this is not easy one fish per hour that's how it's gone so far all guads i need a, a seven pounder i don't care if it's a guad or a large mouth i'll break the world record guadalupe bass that's fine with me but if i could just get a, a seven Largy for fish number five, we'll call it a day. Go to the house. That little guad ate the divine swim jig, bluegill color. There we go. I saw him flash on it. That's a nice fish. That's a better fish for sure. He's pulling, he's shaking. He's not a big, big one, but that's a better fish for sure. I can feel him shaking. He hit it twice too. Yes. It's a nice guad. Fish number five is another guad, but it's a nice one. Look at him spitting up that bluegill. Heck yeah, dude. That's a nice guad, dude. That's a decent one. Hit it twice. Spitting up bluegill. Again. Bluegill spawn going down late summer, you know, so they got all these bluegill fry running around. They're munching them. That's the second fish today that spit one of these up. Fish number five. Five fish makes a video, all quads. Nothing major. That one was fun. On the trace, dude. Heck yeah. Awesome. First cast when I picked it back up, too, after not getting bit for forever missed a few on this bait today man so it feels good to get one finally he was shaking too that was fun dude that was fun throwing the uh throwing the trace on the 7.5 heavy fast heater this is a prototype but it is the 7.5 heavy fast so it looks a little different but the rod is the same as far as uh as far as action and power and all that kind of stuff Throwing the trace on the 7.5 heavy, and I'm liking it, to be honest. I got the CT, my only Daiwa, the Daiwa Tatula CT, 6.3 to 1. This is the gear ratio. 7.5 heavy and a 6 to 1 with a trace. That's all you need, dude. That's all you need. You don't need big swim bait gear, really, to throw this bait. I started throwing it on 7.3 heavy back in the day. Upgraded to the 7.7. And then I had this uh, little custom gizzard shad paint that I did laying around. I was like, man, I'm going to try it out on the 7.5. Then I have a bait for this rod. Tried it out. There we go. First fish on it. I dig it. It loads up really nice on the cast with this bait, too. A little bit more backbone than the 7.3 Heavy Sensory that I used to throw it on. A little bit more length. Perfect. Dude. I'm just glad I got a fish on this thing, dude. And another fish, that's like six cups of coffee, dude. You'd be totally silent looking back at the boat ramp thinking, man, maybe I should just put it up on the trailer. Go back to the house, get in the AC. Then you catch one, you're like, all right, man, that's six more hours. Oh, 
Just had one come up and there he ate it again. He ate it twice. He looks black. It's another guad though. I was about to say he looks black, but it's gotta be another guad just by the way he's fighting. Another decent guad. Came up and slapped at it twice. Got him in the back. Calm down, dude. Let me get my thumb in your mouth. Fish number seven. I don't know if this will be tournament legal, but we ain't fishing a tournament. We're fishing up, trying to catch something other than guads, but hey, that's still a black bass species right there, man. That counts. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's spitting up bluegill too. He got them all down his throat. And the bluegill are kind of silver in color too. They don't have all their color yet. They look like fat shad. So they're, this little gizzard shad color trace is getting them, getting them fired up. We got, we got boats, we got helicopters doing flyovers, man. We're, we out here, man. That last one hit it twice. He wanted it too. He flew out of the water trying to eat it the first time. And there that was, guys. Seven guads on the day. The largies aren't out to play. Fishing is so super tough right now. That's another one of the reasons why you guys have been seeing a lot of garage content. I've been struggling to have good days out there on the water. It's just, it's hit or miss, few and far between. Good days are few and far between and practically non-existent at the moment. I heard today that the most recent tournament out there on the lake, my home lake, seven pounds is what it took to win it. Now, dude, you know how bad it's gotta be to go seven pounds for best five largemouth? That's, it's, it's just tough right now, guys. So anyways, no excuses. I'm still out there grinding, trying to get the on the water content done for you guys. And we were able to accomplish the first ever fish on the Swizzle Stick mission, so I'm stoked on that. And I'm also happy to report that as far as this setup right here goes for throwing the Six Cents Trace multi-jointed swim bait, dude, I feel like this 7.5 heater is dialed. If you've been watching the channel, if you've seen any of my Trace videos from the past, you may have saw where I was throwing the Trace on the 7.3 Heavy Fast Sensory Series. A seven foot, three inch, heavy fast, regular rod, not a swim bait rod. And I like throwing the Trace on that rod. I even told you guys that you could get away with throwing the Trace on your normal 7.3 Heavy Fast rod for the longest time I told you guys that. And I really like the way that 7.3 Heavy loaded up, just a little bit lighter rod a little bit more uh, parabolic bend to it when you had that heavier bait, a 7.5 heavy, fast action heater series rod. It's pretty much exactly the same, just a little bit more length, a little bit more backbone on the heater series. And I feel like, to really, if I'm being brutally honest, guys, I almost like throwing the trace on the heater series 7.5 heavy more than I like throwing it on the heater series swim bait special. But anyways, there's the report on the rod. Dial will report coming soon in a future video. Gotta get some more time under my belt. Give it a fair shake. I'm so used to fishing with my Shimano's. I gravitate towards them. I feel like I haven't put truly enough time uh, under my belt with this thing to be given a full comparison. So I'm gonna keep fishing with it. It did great with the trace. I like throwing the trace on a seven to one. This is a six to one. So it's a little bit slow for my taste. But other than that, it casts really well with the bigger swim bait. So that's one thing I do like about the Daiwa. I'm gonna shut that off right here. Keep fishing with it. I'll let you guys know. Stick around for the Daiwa versus Shimano real video. Also want to let you guys know that I may or may not have purchased another non Shimano fishing reel and it's not a Daiwa. So stick around if you wanna see what that is. I'm really excited about it. It's like a specialized specialty reel designed for a specific technique. And I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, unveiling, and first on the water test and first impressions video for that reel right here on the channel very soon. So stick around for that. But yeah, uh, what a day, what an awesome day it was catching seven guads out there, about one fish per hour. And then a little bit later in the day, we bumped it up to like one and a half to two fish per hour, but still it was a struggle. I had a blast nonetheless. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys out there on the water just like I always do. You guys check out the new Swizzle Stick. Check out the 7.5 Heavy Fast Heater and all the other heater series rods on SixthSenseFishing.com along with the Trace and any of these awesome baits that you see hanging up behind me or any of the Sixth Sense products that you see me use in my videos. And they make some of the absolute best tournament grade bass fishing gear on the planet. I encourage you guys to check them out. Check out their hard baits, their soft plastics. They have some of the best paint schemes. Some incredible terminal tackle has just been added to the website. They got apparel, they got sunglasses, hats, shirts, everything 
that you need to have success out on the water. Sixth Sense has got you covered and they have us covered, which is why I have to tell you about them here on the channel. SixthSenseFishing.com, JR10 for the win. Secure the heater, save the bread. If you use my JR10 code on SixthSenseFishing.com, please take a screenshot of your order confirmation, DM it to me at the Justin Royal on Instagram or Facebook. I will post it up, tag your account, give you a shout out on my story. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you all some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing up and running because best believe without the jr10 code users the whole thing crumbles shout out to everybody who chooses to support the channel by using the jr10 code keep hitting my elbow on this vice i'm gonna have to move it soon let's keep it rolling also could not do what we do without the almighty heater army the heater army our channel members who support directly on a monthly basis get special access to badges emojis a direct line of communication to me as well as some other really cool stuff like the heaters only live stream. If you guys wanna go above and beyond and show your support by becoming a channel member, check out that top link down below in the video description and you can learn how to become a member of the almighty heater army and have your name immortalized at the end of every video right here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I will see you on the next one. Dude, what about this painting though? insane thanks brother absolutely blown away